Anyway, I'm watching this video with this chick, okay? She's talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare, or some whatever. And let me say this first, I don't care if people just now got into gaming. There's, I have nothing against that. If you just now got into that, got into gaming, fine. Just make, you know, say that you did, that's fine. I don't care about that. But my thing is, when I see these people, get on here. When I see, like, certain chicks, they have their tits hanging out. I mean, the just cleave, just everything. I don't hate that, okay? I'm a guy. There's nothing, I have no problem with that. My thing is, you know, these people are pretending like they've been, you know, these are the same people. These are the same people who would not pay attention to uh, g gamers, whatever you guys want to call it now. I don't, I don't, you know, whatever. These are the same people that will be making fun of you, laughed at you for bringing comic books to school. These same chicks that wouldn't give you the time of day. And now you're going to tell me now these, it's, these, these people are now cool. You know, I, I, I was looking at, and you know, I don't hate on people's videos or anything like that. I'm just saying, this chick had like, you know, 15, 20,000 views, you know, 10,000 subscribers. And, you know, again, that's YouTube, you know, chicks can't put up their tits and they're going to get hits or views. Whatever, that that's normal. That's on anything. My thing is, people like me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just tell it like it is. Alright, I'm just going to tell it like it is. That's bullcrap. And there's other people who get on here that try to act like they've been down since day one because now you play Call of Duty Modern Warfare or, you, you know, you, you just got into it and now you're going to pretend that you've been, you know, in the whole scene since day one. I don't remember seeing none of you guys when we were getting made fun of, okay? I had to actually go stop. See, so the weird thing about me is getting in another video, I, I made the comparison uh, of the circle chart where there's the extreme end of uber jock and then uber gee whatever you want to call it and I said that most people deviate in between there you're not too much of a crazy nerd but you're not too much of a crazy jock that was me growing up now I don't know man it's just all these I, I use the term bandwagonism bandwagon hoppers that's what these people are I mean, for the longest time, Batman comic books were like, what do you, you like that stuff while you're a nerd, you know, you're drawing the comic books in class, you're a nerd, hi, look at that guy, he's stupid, you're not going to get laid, you're not going to get any chicks. Then the Dark Knight comes out, then Spider-Man comes out, X-Men comes out, all of a sudden all these people are comic book fans, Transformers come out, my dad told me stories about when I was just a wee lad sitting in his lap watching Transformers with him. Now all of a sudden everybody's a Transformers fan because a new movie comes out. You people are fake, man. You are fake, and I will call these people out every time I see it because I know that there are other people out there that have uh, the same experiences, and they they see this stuff, they see it, but they don't they, they don't know if they should say anything or anything like. No, I'm gonna say something. Now I have no problem if you just recently got into it, but God dang it, if I'm sitting in the movie theater, and you know there's, you know thousands of people went out to see The Dark Knight. And then all of a sudden, I'm, I'm sitting in the movie theater. I'm there day one. I got my, bought my tickets early in advance, waited in line. And then the, I'm sitting in, in there, and there's this chick. And she turns to her boyfriend and asks him, is that the Joker? You know, I, I just want, I wanted to drop kick the broad in the face. Because I was, I'm like, why are, you, why are you in this? Why are you in here? Why are you in here? And that, that is bandwagonism. That's what's going on right now, at least in my opinion. And, you know, that's all I see. It bleeds into every every uh, aspect of entertainment. Music, gaming, uh, movies, this bandwagonism. It's become the new thing now. It's a new thing with Halo. Everyone thinks Halo is the most amazing thing. I like the story, and the first game was kind of fun. That was it. it the, the popularity it has is just way, way too much. I mean, Half-Life should, ha Half should have had this type of popularity, which it does and stands on its own. But, I mean... It's not even close. It's not even close to Halo. I don't know, man. I just, I, I just try to be, I, I try to be honest with my videos. Like, like with uh, GoldenEye 64. Now, <laughs> I'm one of those people who grew up playing, you know, my, my father can, but I, I was lucky enough to grow up playing PC, game, PC games because of my father. Now, the first first-person shooter, you know, I played Wolfenstein, then of course my father got Doom. There are other PC games that I got into, like Privateer, which I don't hear much talk about. That game was awesome. It's like an expansion of Wing Commander, which that's probably one of my 
most favorite PC games of all time. I played that game so much. And then it was cool, you know, playing with my father. And flight simulators, too. They had really cool flight flight simulators back back in the 90s, at least. But, uh... Man, when you start going in different subjects, you start to lose, like, your, your train of thought. It's kind of funny.